Thursday, you're watching Thirsty Thursday, the show, it's Thursday, and we get We drink very responsibly. <laughs> First Thirsty Thursday of the new year, what was? Slap it high, it's February, oh my god. It's Super Bowl, and I created not one, but two drinks. Well, that's four. Two drinks, math, for you today for the Super Bowl, one representing each of the Super Bowl teams that are playing this year. I'm not wearing a football jersey because my team didn't even make playoffs for the first time in 10 years. We don't have to talk about it. I'm rooting for alcohol today. Yeah, America. Today we got what I'm gonna call the Eagle Scream, or Eagle's Cream. There's a lot of cream references. There's coconut cream in this, there's whipped cream vodka, and eagles, they scream. You get it. It's the Eagles scream. And let's not forget what I'm calling this year's Patriots round two shot because this is the second time we have to watch the Patriots in the Super Bowl. And last year I also made a Patriots shot, though I feel like this one is far superior. You could also call it the Nikki finally learned the density of alcohol shot and could make a decent layering drink. But that's a really long title. So we're gonna stick to the Patriots round two shot. And now that I think about it, this is the third Patriots Super Bowl we've seen in four years. No shade on the Patriots, but this is making Super Bowl really boring. But that's why I'm I'm here to spice it up with some bomb ass drink. Are you ready to get crunk? To get lit? To rumble? Are you ready to rumble? I don't know how he does it. Get ready to rumble! Let's make these drinks. Today we are gonna start with the Patriots round two shot because I think it's the simplest one to make of the two. Excuse me, sorry, excuse me. Just a lady that likes to make coffees. To make this drink you will need grenadine for our red, whipped cream vodka, and Captain Morgan's loco nut, an explosive coconut shot of Caribbean rum coconut liqueur. Yum, do it, you're gonna want it. And for the blue we have blue carousel and champagne. Also known as champagne. Also known as Prosecco, if you didn't buy champagne. You're also gonna need a shot glass. Preferably one that's clear, so you get the red, white, and blue colors in there. America. Also, you're gonna wanna make sure you have a lot of fingerprints all over the glass. Just all over the glass. Really just claim that glass. To our shot glass, we're gonna add grenadine for the bottom layer. Great. Next, we're gonna pour a little bit of the whipped cream vodka and a little bit of the loco nut together. I'm putting it in a measuring cup because it has a spout on it, so it'll be easier to pour into the shot glass. And we're just gonna mix that up a little bit. Then, you can layer with a bar spoon, but I feel like my bar spoon is too big for that shot glass, so I'm using like a, the back of a teaspoon. A half a teaspoon, actually. Boston teaspoon party. <laughs> So we're gonna put our spoon into our glass and try to aim the white at the back of the spoon. Will you get it evenly layered on there? Look at that. It's not perfect, but it's better than last year's. Fun fact, did not know the density of alcohols last year. Grenadine has just about the same density as blue curacao. I layered them on top of each other. It just made a purple drink. You know who wasn't playing at the Super Bowl last year? The Vikings. You know who got a... <laughs> purple drink the Patriots. So this year is different. I'm gonna use this measuring glass again to mix some champagne or Prosecco. Could be brewed if you got it in California. We're gonna put a little bit of that in there. Then we're just gonna add a splash of blue carousel, like just enough to make it blue. We want this layer to be mostly champagne because like I said, the blue carousel is dense. Science is fun when you get buzzed at the end, trust. Blue ya. Yeah. And then using that same back of the spoon thing, we're going to gently layer the blue on top of the white. And look at that. Patriots, round two shot. Cheers. If you're a Patriots fan, take a shot after every touchdown. Also, if you're an Eagles fan, take a shot every time the Patriots get a touchdown because you gonna need it. Next, we got the Eagles Scream. For this drink, you will need whipped cream vodka, blue curacao. I tried to make these roughly the same ingredients so that if you're having a party, you don't have to go spend a bunch of money on alcohol. You're welcome. Well, you will need some pineapple juice and some loco nut. This is optional, but I say you opt in. We're gonna put 1.5 ounces of whipped cream vodka, three ounces of pineapple juice. This is legit one of my go-to combinations of alcohol with a mixer. You have to get whipped cream vodka. It's so good. Usually I add grenadine to this, which you could do if you also bought ingredients for the Patriots shot. But last week I was out of grenadine and I added blue curacao and it made the exact color of the Philadelphia Eagles jersey. So. We're gonna do that today. Instead of grenadine, we're adding blue curacao. And here's blue curacao. We're just gonna add enough until it's the color of their jersey. There. Then we're gonna take a shaker and fill it with ice. Really gonna shake things up. Unlike the teams that have played in the past couple Super Bowls. Now we're gonna pour this into our martini glass. And then because the eagle's other color is silver, um, the, you know, white, white is close enough. So then I'm just gonna take my loco nut and I'm gonna layer it on the back of the spoon very gently until it covers the top of 
are correct. And there we go. The eagle scream. We'll see how much we scream for this. Who are you rooting for for Super Bowl? I mean, come on, I'm wearing my cold shirt right now. You know what I'm talking about. I'm wearing my alcohol shirt on. I have for you today two drinks representing the two teams. Which team would you like to taste first? Well, let's get the Patriots over with because we had it last year and uh, probably the year before that as well. And I yeah. think the year before that as well. So. I think you're going to like this shot better than the shot we did last year. But yeah, because you blended it. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, look at the layering. That's huge. It Nikki, looks like a rocket pop. Nikki learned science. Cheers. You done did it, kid. That is excellent. Yeah, that's really good. I would drink that even without rooting for the Patriots. Yeah, I, well, I hope you're not rooting for the Patriots. You know that our kids are going to be Colts fans? No, they're going to be Packers fans. No, they're going to be Colts fans. So no, like, they're going to be Packers fans. You know they're not going to like the no Patriots. My kids are going to root for teams that win more than... Our kids are going to be Colts fans. My kids are going to be Packers fans. Our children are going to be big time Andrew Luck Colts fans. Okay, well your kids can be Colts fans, but my kids are going to be Packers fans. Well, how does that work? Explain mm -hmm. the math there. I don't know, figure it out. I'm the one that makes them. Our next drink is the Eagle Scream. That's what you call it? The Eagle Scream, yeah, because it's kind of like... Because like they're going to get beat so bad. I think you're going to say yes in a second. Oh shit, that's very good. That's, that's strong. Good. That's some good shit. That's oh good. yeah, that'll get you. That'll get you there. That'll strong. get you where you want to go. But I like a strong drink that tastes good. Exactly. It's you rare. Yeah, can you taste the alcohol? No, but I can tell it's there. It's so good. This is my favorite combination of um, mixer to uh, spirit. The whipped cream vodka with pineapple juice is just such a good combination of flavors. Even if you gave me perfect instructions on how to make this, I would not be able to make this. <laughs> It's so bomb. It's really good. I think I'm it. probably going to be sipping on this and then taking shots whenever anyone scores anything. What? Yeah, I don't care. That's true. <laughs> also, if you're looking for Super Bowl appetizers, I made some garlic knots earlier this month and I made some chili cornbread cups. Huh. Excellent appetizers. Every, all of those were good. I will say you've had a strong month for TV. Strong tea. month. Strongest month, strong I month. think, maybe ever. You're going to make a whole batch of those? You yeah. should. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think that's enough that uh, for everyone at the party. Like, that's a good, like, big group food. That's true. Don't go to a party empty handed. You can't do it. Even mm. if somebody's like, hey, don't bother. Bring something. Something. Plastic cups and ice, Napkins. You'll, you'll be the party favorite. Really? Every party needs plastic cups and, uh, and ice. If you see us in public, if you see plastic us at a convention, you see us in an event, plastic cups and, and uh, ice. That's all we ask. Pretty, pretty good That's way to do it. That's all we want. If you bring us ice at like a, an event, like uh, like a VidCon or Playlist, we probably won't be able to store it somewhere. We, just to yeah, say it'll right. probably melt. Yeah, probably we won't be able to use it, but, but I thought that counts. I understand the thought, yeah. So, anyway, successful Thirsty Thursday. Get crunk, get lit, but also very responsibly. And drive responsibly while you get crunk and lit. Or Uber, you know? You could Uber. Well, but you can save money if you just drive. Hey. Hey, how about that? Hey. And cheers. Hey. I'll cheers to that. Don't ruin okay. my sponsorship. We drink very responsibly. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Deuces.